Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and in this video we're continuing our little series where I'm trying to go to Mars. So in the previous video we got up into orbit, we stayed pretty well on, uh, on track with our relative inclination. So we're just going to pick up where we left off, so let me go ahead and switch camera views here. Let's unpause the simulation. Uh, so the first priority, of course, getting into orbit, you want to stay in orbit, so we already took care of that. Our orbit is circularized. But now we want to set up a maneuver to replace our escape plan. So I have to remember how to do that. Um, I think I remember. Hopefully. So in stage two, I believe it is, we want to view over to... Um, okay, maybe it's not in stage two. Maybe go back. So in stage one, we want to view over to the maneuver. I guess that's right. And we'll turn maneuver mode on. And we want to go through our variables until we are at uh, prograde. Now, we don't have to guess anymore because we know how much prograde we need. According to uh, Transex, it's 3.77. Boy, that seems awfully high to me. I'm going to have to go back and look at my other videos. That just seems... Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking it should be closer to 2.5. But um, regardless, because we know we don't have to, you know add, subtract, all that, we'll just enter in the, the number 3, uh, I think you just, do, let me see, is it 3.7 or do I just put 3.77 7 like that? Okay, I just put in 3.77 7 like that. And then uh, we know the eject point um, is actually, technically, it's like not for two more days, but the window for Mars is usually wide enough that uh, we'll, we'll try to set it for coming up here in just a quarter of an orbit, but if necessary, we'll orbit the planet for a while to have our to have time catch up. So let's go to the date, and we're just going to be adjust, we're just going to be adjusting the date by you know a few minutes. So we want to go down to an, uh, a low setting here, and we're going to swing that around until we get close. They're going to adjust down to a finer setting, and now that we're really close, we're going to go all the way down to our finest setting, and we're just going to lay that right over top of the other plan. It's like right about there is perfectly over top. So now we can, I believe we can just get rid of our escape plan now. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. And the way we get rid of our escape plan, um, how do you do that again? I think you have to be over here. And we just need to zero out our different variables. So we'll go to uh, the outwards up first. So we'll just uh, go forward here and zero it. And we'll go to prograde and we need to go forward one and zero that out. So now Transex is prioritizing the maneuver over uh, the, uh, the escape plan. All right, so I'm gonna go forward on this side all the way to the encounter. And now since we've adjusted things uh, fairly substantially. Now we're going to have to play around with our maneuver a little bit to get us back on track because right now our closest approach is 4.6 gigameters. All right, so while we're in, um, let me see here, we need to go, we're in here, we need to go back, view over to the maneuver. And one of the first things I'm gonna try is uh, just adjusting the date a little bit. So we have, why doesn't this feel right to me? It's because it wasn't right. Let me see here, did I completely mess this up? I think I may have. This feels really wrong to me for some reason. Um, but while we're here, I feel like I should be in stage two for this. I really feel like I should be in stage two. But over here, I just have set up an eject plan. That's it. I don't have a maneuver. So I'm, I'm thinking it must be right. So in the maneuver, I'm just going to try tapping the date a little bit, uh, preferably forward, I would suppose. And we're on micro. And I'm just going to watch my, uh, what can I watch? I have nothing over here. Let me go back on this side. Okay, I can. I guess I can watch 
the closest approach here. So by bringing the date up a little bit, it's taking that down. Of course, I can't take the date back too much because uh, you know we only have a quarter of an orbit here. But I do have a little bit of room to play with on the on the the eject date. And just by changing the date, you know, it brought our closest approach. It cut it in half, so that's good. So now we're going to go to, uh, every time I pass by updates, I like to hit update just to, just to make sure we're on track. Now, prograde, we don't need a huge, uh, a, a huge change here, hopefully. So I'll go down to like a, let me, let me start with an alter setting. So adding in more prograde is, is uh, making the closest approach worse. So... Let's take out some prograde. Okay, so it, it was going down and then it started going up. So I'm going to take out even more, which is actually making the closest approach worse. But then I'm going to, I'm going to switch back and forth between uh, date and prograde for now. Because I remember, you know, it's like, okay, so for now it's going down as I'm adding in some date. Now it's kind of bottomed out. And now it's going to go up. So I'm going to overshoot in this direction to say that point, and then switch back over to uh, prograde, and we'll take out prograde. And you can see we're getting closer, 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 and then it starts going up. So I'm going to take out even more prograde to overshoot in that direction, and then just kind of go back and forth until hopefully we hit the planet. So you can see now we're really close. So I'll overshoot again, say out to there and we were taking out prograde so that gives us uh, now we're at that point so now we uh let me get on i'm already at the micro on the date i feel like this is wrong i should be viewing the encounter okay well there's the encounter so uh, maybe uh, i don't know something feels wrong to me but <laughs> i guess if it gets us there that I'm just misremembering. Um, all right, so now we have a minimum altitude of 165, so wow, that's really sensitive. Okay, so now we're down to 68, 60, 50, so I'm going to overshoot a little bit, and then back to the date, and uh, okay, that, that it went past and overshot in the other direction, so now we'll go back to prograde. Now we're down to a hyper setting, so we're there. You know, we're we're basically there. We're again, mid course correction is going to be required. So um, that date is hyper sensitive. We probably won't be able to mess with the date anymore. That's just way too sensitive. Ooh, actually, and and that has us. Okay, that's coming up pretty soon. Um, all right, let me switch back to prograde, but I might actually go down to the hyper setting at this point. I guess we can, or micro, but I guess we can still do hyper. All right, so I think that's about as good as I'm going to get with just date and and prograde. Let me let me tap the date one more time just to see if I can. But it's so sensitive; it's really hard to to know. I guess we're, we got a little bit better there. Sorry, because I was going to say maybe I'll add in some outward or plane change, but I think. So let me try that. And yeah, okay, there we are. We're at Mars. So we'll go with this plan. Um, now, I, I do feel like. So we have a thousand seconds until the burn. I do feel like there's something that I'm not doing with regards to the with regards to the relative inclination I feel like there was some additional relative inclination cleanup that I could do at this point but I guess we're just going to forego that so a thousand seconds from the burn uh, let's uh, check uh, double check our resources really quick 420 days of locks, main fuel, oof, I don't know what that translates to in terms of delta V. You know one thing I did forget to do, I forgot to bring an extra tank of fuel and I, I, 
I, I don't feel like that's going to be enough. Um, so we're going to cheat. We're going to go to the payload editor because this was just an oversight on my part while I was still on the ground. I think I intended to add another fuel module. I just forgot. So we're going to say that, uh, you know, we're going to pretend that we did this, even though we didn't. So now we're what? Did that even do anything? I mean, we can cheat further and we can use the scenario editor to give ourselves fuel. Does anybody remember what that was before? I don't. Um, let me check the payload editor one more time. Okay, so we we did give ourselves fuel. Um, all right. Okay. So we need. I, I have a feeling that we're gonna have to cheat on the fuel, uh, if not on the spurn, then in transit to Mars. I don't think I'm going to be able to land with the fuel I brought with me. Um, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's uh, warp time forward. Um, that's not what I meant to do. So let's warp time forward to get closer to the time to do the burn. And we're getting there. Let's bring this back up. Let's go ahead and turn auto center on. Not yet. All right, let's go ahead and turn auto center on. Bring up Transex. We'll get the burn. And we'll have Transex take care of the burn. And remembering that when, uh, when burn time calculator is done, it stops the burn a few delta V before the burn is actually complete so that we'll have to uh, we'll have to translate the last little bit of it so we just need to keep that in mind so that when we look at our encounter at Mars and we see we're nowhere even close it's because we're missing just a little bit of delta V all right uh, we'll go ahead and warp time forward just through the burn because it's uh, what is this a, a four minute burn so yeah that's a while and burning really curious if I have enough fuel. Okay, I can look up here for my main propellant. Yeah, I just, I don't have any intuition anymore for what those, uh, you know, what those percentages mean, what those numbers mean, all that's gone. So two more minutes on the burn. Looks like we'll get through this burn, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to cheat in some more fuel because when I get to Mars I can't land on a runway because I don't have one and uh, I, yeah, I just don't see being able to hover down with hot fumes could change our plan we could go to Phobos instead although I don't have HAL base installed in this one I'll have to install HAL base All right, coming down to the end of the burn, I'm like 99% sure we wouldn't have made it if I hadn't had it in that extra fuel module. But again, that was, and I intended to do that on Earth, I just overlooked it. All right, so that's done. Turn off auto center, switch over to maneuver, turn off maneuver mode, bring transects up on this side, view our encounter, which, you know, we're not even close. I think if I go back on this side, yeah, I can see things a little bit better. So a little bit more on the main engine, just a control thrust, though, not a uh, full thrust. And we'll watch that closest approach until it gets down closer to Mars, and then we'll switch over to the encounter view. Like that, and now switch over to the encounter view and continue the last little bit of the burn. Translation. Now we'll translate. And we're there. That's Mars. Awesome. All right, so now we need to warp time forward, and I remember the best time to do the mid-course correction is when you're closest approach. Uh, uh, 
reaches equilibrium essentially. So as you as you go forward away from Earth, it's going to flow all over the place. But then when you get in orbit around the Sun, and you continue out for quite a while, um, probably at least a hundred days or more, and you watch that closest approach, it probably has to be back on this stage. It will it'll it'll go up and down, up and down, up and down. But eventually, it'll reach a point where it hits its lowest. And that's the time to do the mid-course correction. So let's see if we can squeeze in at least one mid-course correction in this video. Let's go ahead and warp time forward. And I do like to see Earth as I'm getting away. So rotation. let me rotate around till I can see Earth. It just gives me some point of reference. Okay, there we go. Because it doesn't take it doesn't take very many days before Earth just becomes this tiny dot that you can't even see anymore. And so we're still in orbit around Earth. Technically, now we're in orbit around the Sun. And so you can see our closest approach is going up, yeah, going way up. But eventually, I think it's you know it, it oscillates like there. Now it's going back down. And um, now it's going up. You know, it'll go up, down, up, down, up, down. But we want to get we want to get a ways out to Mars before we really worry about what this is doing. Because you can see we are here, and we're gonna go here. So we're really far away. So we're gonna go max time warp. Is it still a hundred thousand? I thought they bumped that up. Guess not. Yeah, I do feel like there there needs to be a higher time acceleration, especially like when you go to Jupiter, Neptune, even with full time warp, that takes like an hour or something of real time. <laughs> All right, so here's our closest approach that I'm kind of keeping an eye on. And and I, I believe I believe it'll come down. I believe it'll start coming down again at some point. But we wanted to get well out away from Earth before we worry about it because that effect that Earth has on our, on our numbers is pretty significant. Okay, so now the closest approach is starting to tick backwards very slowly. So I'm thinking, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just watch it. And we still got a ways to go, so now it's 133, so... Time of flight was 3.45. Let me just come back to, say, 1,000 for a second. And let's just take a look. So we're burning through our locks. Yeah, main engine. There's no fuel left. All right, back to max time warp. So 1.833. So probably around over here somewhere we're going to reach our low point, at which point we're going to want to do a mid-course. Which I think we'll save that for the next video. So right now I'm just warping time forward. We still got a ways to go. And pretty soon we're going to come out of time warp and plan on doing our mid-course. But I'll continue a bit farther just to see what happens. Right now my closest approach at least with three decimals of precision isn't changing. All right, let me see. When is our encounter date? 945. So we still have a ways to go. Like 200 days. So we're just going to continue warping time forward. And let me go ahead and come out of time warp for a minute. Let me do a quick control S just to save right here at this point. I need to make that a habit. That way in case I exit out of orbiter or something in between videos, I can make sure I get back to where I was at. But that's going to wrap it up for this part of the video. And when we come back, we're just going to continue warping time forward until we get to some point where it feels like it'd be about a good time to do a mid-course correction. So with all that said, I will see you in the next part.